This video is an introduction to using the Awards tool in D2L for instructors at Nashville State Community College. The Awards tool in D2L allows you to recognize the accomplishments of students in your course using digital markers or icons they can display on their profiles. Awards can be used to provide an external incentive for academic performance beyond grades alone. Awards don't count towards a student's final grade, but they can be used to encourage active participation, to motivate students towards achievement, and to introduce a degree of friendly academic competition among students. There are two types of awards you can give to students in D2L, badges and certificates. Badges are digital icons that release to students once they fulfill a set of criteria determined by the instructor. Badges display in the student's awards dashboard. Certificates are similar to badges. Students will also get an icon to display with their certificate. However, certificates are also accompanied by a PDF file of an actual certificate that students can print out if they wish. Certificates can be issued in recognition of a student completing a course, a program, or acquiring a competency. Awards can be created and managed through the Awards Dashboard. The Awards Dashboard can be found inside the default Nashville State Navbar. Or, if you do not see the Awards link in your Navbar, go to Edit Course, and then find Awards under Assessment. To create a new award, navigate to the Course Awards tab. This tab lists all awards that currently exist in the course. Next, select Add Award to Course, and then Create. Give your award a name and a description. Next, choose the award type, badge, or certificate from the drop-down menu. For this example, I'm going to create a certificate. Next, choose whether you want this award to be available in all of your courses, or if you would like to make this award available to all instructors at Nashville State to use in their courses. If you wish to make the award only available in the current shell, check Restrict Award to the current course and its child or units. Next, set whether and when you would like the award to expire. You can choose to have the award expire on a fixed date or a relative amount of time after the award is issued. You can also choose to notify recipients before expiry. Next, you'll choose an award image. You'll do this both for badges and for certificates. Choose from existing library to select from several default icons. or choose Upload New Icon to upload an image file from your computer as an icon. You can also choose Create Your Own Award Image. This option will take you to the classic badge designer through My Knowledge Map. This interactive tool will allow you to create and download your own custom badge using several provided icons and shapes. You can then download the badge that you create to your computer and then upload it back into D2L using the Upload New Icon button. Next, only if you chose to create a certificate instead of a badge, you will next have to choose a certificate template. If you have previously uploaded a PDF certificate, you can choose it from existing library. If not, you will need to upload a new template from a PDF file. To create your own certificate, you can use a template in Microsoft Word or Publisher and then export it to a PDF file. Customize the text of the certificate how you want it, leaving blanks for the name and the date to autofill. Then export the file as an Adobe PDF. Open the PDF using Adobe Acrobat, then go to Tools and Prepare Form. On the next screen, make sure that Form Field Auto Detection is on and then click Start. If it worked, Adobe will have automatically detected where you left blank spaces for the name and date and made those into fillable fields for a form. If you want these fields to auto-populate with the student's name and the date of issue, for the name field, right-click on that field, go to Properties, and then in the name box, put full name in brackets, capital F, capital N, and close. For the date field, Right-click on that field, go to Properties, and then put Award Date, capital A, capital D, 
in brackets in the name field, and close. Save the PDF and then go back and click Upload New Template to upload that new certificate into D2L. Finally, enter issuer information for your award and select whether or not you would like to use it immediately in the current course. Select Save and Close when finished. Your new award will now appear in the course awards list. Instructors can either manually issue awards to students or they can create release conditions which will automatically release an award once students meet certain predefined criteria in the course. To set award conditions, from the Course Awards tab, select Edit Properties next to the award in the list. Then select Create under Release Conditions. You can then select from the Condition Type drop-down menu what conditions you would like students to fulfill before the award is automatically issued to them. The next time the student logs into D2L after meeting the criteria, they will get a pop-up notification of their award. You can also manually issue or revoke awards from the Class List Awards tab. To issue an award, select the checkbox next to a name in the list and then Issue. Select an award from the drop-down menu and then briefly state what award criteria the student met to receive the award. Select Issue when finished. You can also revoke an award from this page by checking the name of the student and then Revoke. Students will receive a pop-up notification of their award the next time they log into D2L. They can also view any awards that they have received from the awards dashboard and generate any certificates that they have received with their own custom information. Still have questions about using awards in your course? Contact the Office of Online Learning for assistance at online.learning at nscc.edu. Thank you for watching.